Hi everyone, this is Yasuo Servant 777 representing a Mighty Wind Ministry. This ministry is an evangelical outreach to both Jew and Gentile and reaching souls all over the world in 25 different languages with the gospel of Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, and with the prophetic messages that have been given by God to Prophet Elizabeth Elijah, who is my pastor. Prophetic messages that prepare people for the things that are to come, the Great Tribulation, but also for the genuine rapture of Yahushua's bride who are without spot and without wrinkle, living their lives in obedience and in holiness unto Yahushua, the Son of God, who is the only Savior of mankind, and who is my Savior. It's for His glory that I do this video. It is for His glory because I desire to, to the best of my ability, protect His sheep and lambs, to warn them at least, and to prevent them from being led astray, to prevent them from being deceived by wolves that are present on YouTube. Now before I continue, I would like to let all the viewers know that this video is not meant to defame or character assassinate the individual who goes by the name of the Jonathan Click on YouTube. Especially not since my pastor Elizabeth Elijah and people like myself that represent this ministry have been targeted by character assassins for two years now on the internet. And Jonathan, if you are watching, I do not desire to defame you. It is not my intention to use your face or your popularity to gain popularity for myself. My point with this video is to reveal error. Error that I can find in your videos, in the Jonathan Clex videos, that will lead to the destruction of thousands of souls. People that regularly watch his videos, if not repented of. I do not know if the Jonathan Kleck is consciously aware of what he's doing, if he's purposely serving Satan and leading people astray. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, this is why I include this intro, to let him know that this is not meant to ridicule him. I also hope that he himself repents of these things. He is feeding at this time a false fire that is on YouTube, and which I personally call the rapture frenzy. They're talking about the rapture is going to come, but it's not the rapture that they described in the Holy Bible. Satan seeks to go before God and to counterfeit what God does, and he has staged a false rapture. A false rapture that is being staged for lukewarm Christians who will not go the extra mile, who have said the salvation prayer, but they're not living their lives unto Jesus Christ. They're not living holy. They're not keeping His commandments. They don't lift a finger to defend that which is holy, or to rebuke sin, or to learn the Jewishness about the Messiah, to learn His true Hebrew name, to keep the Sabbath day holy, and to forsake the man-made doctrines that they have been taught in the Sunday churches. Okay? People are being duped by people like the Jonathan Clegg, who tell you call upon Jesus and be re ready for the rapture, but there is no additional preaching of the truth to these things. They're telling you the bad guys are going to come, the aliens, that Jesus is going to catch you all away. But they do not tell you that to be part of the genuine rapture, you must live holy as Yeshua is holy. You must pray and strive to be worthy to be in that rapture. They don't tell you that to love Yeshua is to obey Him. Why don't they tell you this? Why don't they tell you that Satan is staging a false rapture that will take place before the genuine? Why don't they tell you that the powers that be will project a hologram in the sky that will look like the return of Jesus Christ, but this Satan in disguise? These are all things I hope for the Jonathan Clegg that he simply does not know. I want to give him the benefit of the, of the doubt. But in any case, he's being used by Satan. He's not only being used by Satan to set the people up for a false rapture because he's never mentioning God's commandments or true repentance of sin, but um, he is also being used to bring out videos such as the one entitled Alien Communication Interception, in which he supernaturally, supposedly received alien communication on his phone and lets the people hear this. Now there's a firm warning in this video concerning that audio, of which I urge you and warn you to not listen to it. 
And if you watch this video, you will understand why you should never listen to this. Because it is meant to program you. It is possibly even meant to program people or to trigger people that were programmed to be serial killers and they, and they never even knew it. Watch the prophetic dream, the link that I will give right now in this video, but also later on and at the end of this video that you need to watch of a prophetic dream that my pastor Elizabeth Elijah had of serial killers being made that will be triggered to be serial killers. Nonetheless, if it's being used for this or not, this stuff is so dangerous because of the demonic and alien powers that are attached to that audio and it is meant to program you or to deceive you it is a trap from Satan and like I keep saying I hope that the Jonathan Clegg is not purposely deceiving people or consciously aware he's being used by Satan I pray that he himself repents of his error of his sins okay so this is the intro to this video please watch this video to understand why this rapture frenzy is going on on YouTube by people proclaiming that the rapture is going to take place tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, but they refuse to lift a finger to teach you to obey God's commandments. Please watch this video. I just wanted to add this before we start off. May Yah bless the truth seekers. Hi everyone, this is a very urgent video. Uh, this is a warning to the Christian community, but also people outside of the Christian community that are really being pulled by the occult and searching out the occult and the new world order and the fulfillment of a one world religion and the new age agenda and the alien invasion and, and all this stuff. It is very easy to be pulled into the wrong direction. Places where you can find like 99% truth, but a twist is being given to it. And so much that you're being programmed for the coming Antichrist and you do not even see it. You don't even know it because the people presenting this are presenting themselves as fine Christians. They're embedded within this Christian community and yet they are Satan's agents. Preparing you for a coming deception and illusion. An illusion that you will believe if you are not careful. Now, anybody that is not at this time grounded in the Word of God and walking in a loving, obedient relationship with Yahushua, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, keeping all ten of His commandments, not nine of them, not eight of them, uh, but all ten of them, including the fourth one, the Sabbath day, to hallow it and keep it holy. If you are not walking in a loving, obedient relationship in so much that the devil is after you, you are a threat to the, to the kingdom of darkness and so much that you are being persecuted and that in your own life the passage in Revelation chapter 12 verse 17 is being fulfilled that the dragon is wrought with the woman who are God's people and went to make war with the remnant of her seed that keep the commandments of God have the testimony of Yeshua, Jesus you see the devil is after those who keep God's commandments not those who break him and definitely, definitely not those who do not even know God's commandments. Okay, so are you keeping God's commandments? Are you being obedient unto God? Are you living holy? Are you asking Him daily, God, Yahushua, Jesus Christ, make me worthy, change me. Make me worthy to escape the great tribulation, to stand before you as your bride without spot and without wrinkle. Deliver me from sins, addictions, demons, thought patterns, intentions and motives of the heart that are not of you, bad habits, wrong attitude, whatever it is that stands in my way of being completely bent to your will, conform to your image, take it away and make me a new creature in you, Yeshua, on a daily basis, renew me, refine me, shape me and make me more set apart and holy unto you if you do not know such an obedient relationship in which you are useful for God by remaining in Yahushua and bringing forth fruit as Yahushua said without me you cannot do anything unless you know that kind of intimacy in which you are willing to obey God in all circumstances even if you have to crucify your flesh lay your own desires and your will down and you're being persecuted and looked uh, upon as if you're some kind of uh, you know insane person by people around you your family members even if they are Christian 
if you go if you go full out for God Almighty, for Yahushua Hamashiach, that means there are going to be some sacrifices. Yahushua said, I did not come to bring peace, but I came with a sword. Because this day, a man will be set at Voraz against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law. So, there's going to be division. God is going to move in your life. There's going to be persecution. There's going to be pain. There's going to be suffering. You're going to have to stand up and defend the truth. The Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11, have no fellowship in the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. You're going to have to rebuke evil, expose evil. You're going to have to be sometimes not such a pleasant person, just like John the Baptist was sometimes not such a pleasant person, or should I say many times, because he was rebuking sin. He was rebuking sinners. He told them to repent, change their heart, to be baptized, to repent, turn away from their sins, to burn their works. That's what the first apostles, the disciples of Christ, let the people do when they were baptized, they burned their ungodly works and their witchcraft and their sorceries, and they turned away from their sins and they received the gift of the Holy Spirit by believing and calling upon the name of Yahushua, Jesus Christ. If you are not in such an obedient relationship at this very moment with Christ, in which all these things that I just mentioned are embedded within your very heart and within your spirit and within your soul. You have heart knowledge rather than head knowledge, rather than only being a Bible thumper and knowing some scriptures. That there's actually heart. Only if you are living in this manner on a daily basis in which you flee the very appearance of sin and lead others to the kingdom of heaven will you be counted worthy to be in that rapture if you continue if you continue to press forward if you continue to walk that narrow path that leads to life everlasting only then will you make it yet in this very christian community there are people who do not know any of this stuff they proclaim jesus but they do not know his commandments they are not obeying Jesus Christ. They do not know what suffering is or persecution. They do not know what it is to fall on their knees in true biblical repentance. Tears uh, running down their cheeks. Being sorry for their sins. Asking God for His deliverance. But instead of that they are smug. And they are talking about the rapture is imminent next month, this year, tomorrow, that last year it should have been. I'm going to be part of the rapture. Why? Because I'm the bride of Christ. Now let me tell you this. The true bride of Christ that has heart knowledge and who has known much suffering for the sake of Yeshua's name will not ever boast like that. I am the bride of Christ. I'm going to be raptured because the true bride of Christ are on their knees daily asking God to make them worthy to be part of that rapture. And... Many people are feeding this fire, this frenzy. The rapture is going to come. Well, sure the rapture is going to come. But do you preach the complete biblical gospel, the message that should be attached to it? There are many people within this Christian community. They have thousands of subs, thousands of views. They are greatly loved. They are being interviewed all over the place. They have their own shows. They guarantee the people the rapture, yet they refuse to even lift a finger. To teach people true obedience to the Holy Scriptures. Obedience to God's commandments. To keep the Sabbath day holy. To teach the Jewishness of the Messiah. To forsake the pagan feasts and unholy days. And to keep the Jewish ones that are written of in the Holy Bible that Yeshua himself kept. They are not teaching people to rebuke sin or sinners. But rather they teach people to not rebuke anybody because a rebuke may stand in the way of their salvation. You might lead them away from Christ. And instead of that they teach the people to put their faith in a salvation prayer which they said with no heart whatsoever. And they are guaranteeing these people the rapture. The Bible tells us in the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 to not be shaken up in any way, shape or form in mind or by any letter or any messages being put out there that the day of Christ is at hand or is now because first there will be a falling away from the faith and the wicked will be revealed 
the son of perdition, who will exalt himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God will sit in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. The devil counterfeits what God does. He will claim to be God, yea, he will claim to be Jesus Christ. And he will go before, he will come with false signs and lying wonders. He's staging a false rapture. Project Lubin. He is going to uh, appear as savior to humanity to mock the second coming of Christ. He's going to send his fallen angels. He's going to send his demons. He's going to send his aliens. An invasion is going to take place. Do these people really tell you this? That the devil is up to all this? That he will counterfeit first? That there's going to be a false rapture? That the devil will claim to be God, the savior to mankind? Do these people tell you this? And if the answer is no, then why not? Why aren't they teaching you any of these things, yet they are guaranteeing you the rapture because you said a salvation prayer? And if you are not grounded in the true things that I just spoke of, in the scriptures, knowledge of God, wisdom, in obedience to God, in all ways, putting Yahweh and Yahushua first in your life and love. If you were all over the place on the internet, on YouTube, man, you're opening yourself up to a legion of demons, a craving and hunger after the occult, and you will end up being devoured by Satan's agents. Because the Bible warns us, if we profess to know Christ, we ought to walk like Him. If not, we are found liars. If we do not keep His commandments, we are found liars and the truth is not in us. What does the Bible tell us also in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 about those that believe in not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness? God will send them a strong delusion that they may believe a lie. If you are not obeying Yahushua, Jesus Christ, keeping all ten of His commandments, doing your best to not sin against Him, and definitely not on purpose, and being covered with the blood of Yusha constantly, okay, then you will fall for Satan's deceptions in the New Age agenda because it's being carried out under your very noses under this Christian community. Okay, so when you're all over the place over these vi uh, with these videos, you're ending up at people that have great popularity. Okay, I'm going to name a name right now. And I gotta be honest here, this is not, it is not my motivation to defame this man or to assassinate his character. Especially not since this very ministry which I represent is being targeted by character assassins that seek to character assassinate my pastor Elizabeth Elijah. I don't want to do such things. But like I said, in obedience to the Holy Bible, we reprove unfruitful works of darkness rather than partake in them, rather than tolerate them, because if we want to follow in Yahushua's footsteps, we beat the wolves away from the flock in the name of Yahushua. The name, the Jonathan Kleck. This man who claims to be a fallen angel who is saved, who claims that all of humanity are fallen angels, as far as I know, which is, of course, a lie, he is fear-mongering in his videos. The rapture is imminent. The bad guys, the aliens are going to come and Christ is going to snatch you away. But I'm so afraid for you, you need to get saved. But he never explains to you how do you get saved. Well, you call upon the Lord Jesus, you, you believe on him. That, that's where it stops, that's what ends. Obedience is never mentioned. Repentance of sin is never mentioned. God's commandments are never mentioned. It's never mentioned that... Uh, Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26 says, If we sin willfully, there remain a normal sacrifice for our sins. So a true obedient lifestyle to Christ is never mentioned, yet he is guaranteeing people the rapture by just calling upon Jesus. Now, what Jesus would tell a man that he's a fallen angel? Because this man claims to be a prophet, claims to hear from God, and he says he's a fallen angel that was saved. It is absolutely contrary to the Holy Scriptures, so that Jesus talking to him is obviously not the Jesus of the Bible. That's how simple that is. Yet he has thousands of views by people that claim to be Christians. Now, can you believe this? Now, the most important warning in this video is not only that you had better obey Christ to be part in the rapture, to not be deceived, uh, by the false rapture is going to come, and that videos like this guy puts out can 
insert demons into you, okay, and program you for the coming new world order and the coming son of Satan, okay. But he made a specific video lately in YouTube that is entitled Alien Communication Interception. Invasion is imminent. Now, he says he has received an, uh, a message on his phone which was an alien communication that was intercepted on his phone and he put it on his tape recorder. Okay, and you can hear like an unknown language that could come straight out of a movie uh, concerning, you know, aliens communicating with one another. And I talked to my pastor, Elizabeth Elijah, on the phone about this, and she shared with me her experience, and I myself uh, watched part of that video, and she said that she listened to that video, and he was um, telling the people that he received this message, which appears to be aliens communicating on his phone. And he was letting the people listen to it for a few minutes, and it was uh, and, and Elizabeth listened to it, and while she was pleading the blood of Yeshua and rebuking and binding the devil and breaking all alien powers off of this, you know, recording this audio in the name of Yeshua, pleading the blood of Yeshua over herself, Yeshua himself, the Son of God, said to her after thirty seconds, "Take off those headphones." That's how dangerous this stuff is. You do not know how dangerous it is to listen to this. This is, um, Elizabeth told me that while she was hearing this, and after 30 seconds, Yeshua, Jesus told her, don't listen to this. That she felt she experienced like an ice cold, an ice pick, a sharp ice pick, trying to um, penetrate her head right there. And it, you know, it, it caused much pain. And Yeshua allowed this for her to understand how serious and how evil this video recording or audio recording is. And this is the warning that we put out there, is please do not expose yourself to these sounds. Don't, do not listen to this video. Do not listen to the audio that is contained within this video of this communication of aliens. We do not know exactly what is going on, what is happening, but these sounds are so dangerous that Yeshua himself interceded uh, and said to Elizabeth, no longer listen to this, this is dangerous. She prayed against, she was led to pray against mind control, mind manipulation, and mind programming. This man that you see right here is being used uh, for um, a great deception that is going to take place. He... So, the great warning that I have in this video is please do not listen to the audio that is within this video. It must be very evil. It is meant to program you and not to mention the demons and the alien powers that are attached to that recording, which opens people up for demons. Okay? This is nothing to play around with. So, having that out of the way, later on in that video he says, the invasion, it's imminent, it's going to happen, the aliens are going to come, the bad guys are going to come, but Christ is going to snatch us away. And again, I warn you, because there are truths in this video, but he inserts lies. And he holds, basically, the, the things he should be preaching, in addition to this, he holds like under the table. He doesn't teach you to obey God's commandments. Or to pray to be accounted worthy. He doesn't tell you properly how to get saved and walk in an obedient, loving relationship with Jesus Christ. So this man is being used to fearmonger you, to keep telling you, oh, I fear so much for you, but I, I don't fear for myself because you know I stand on the promise of God, I'm gonna be in the rapture. But I'm so fearful for you because if you are not getting saved and, and you know you're gonna be here. But exactly what people have to do to be in that rapture, he doesn't tell them. So he's fear-mongering them, he's setting them up to be scared, and that alien invasion is going to come, and then Christ is going to snatch him away. But like I said, like the book of Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians says, Satan will come with lying signs with, and, and, and uh, lying wonders. And uh, false signs and lying wonders. He will counterfeit the second coming of Yahushua HaMashiach. He will counterfeit the true rapture. Okay, so Jonathan Klecks, Christ, who tells him he's a fallen angel, 
that Christ is gonna save people from the bad guys, the aliens? This is all a setup. What you're having right here is to fear monger the people to desire, and, and it's not only through the stage alien invasion, but it's also gonna be uh, combined with World War Three and fear mongering the people and setting up um, a great chaos and destruction, and also to uh, you know to to fulfill the new world order and to uh, you know. In state martial law and everything, and having all these disasters and famine and everything, death and destruction all around, this is all staged by Satan and his fallen angels. And they are fear-mongering the people in so much that they are going to want and desire a Messiah who saves them from all this. And they are pushing this, call upon Jesus, call upon Jesus, call upon Jesus. Yet the Jesus they're talking about is not the Jesus of the Bible because the gospel that they preach is an incomplete, new age, modified version. So their Jesus is Satan who will be introduced to this world, who will be hungering after a savior to save them from all these coming calamities and these horrors that's going to befall this world. So Jonathan Clegg is setting you up for the coming blue beam rapture, which is going to occur most likely before the genuine rapture for you, she was bride. So when these aliens come, you're going to be scared, and you're going to be looking up, Christ has got to save me, while you never even lived a loving, obedient relationship with Christ. And those holograms are going to create an image of Christ in the sky, who is none other than the devil in disguise, and you're going to be part of a false rapture if you are not gonna flee from these kind of people. Maybe this is even a fallen angel, I do not know. He says he is a fallen angel. And the Bible says, as it was in the days of Noah, so it shall be again. And as in the days of Noah, we had the Nephilim, the giants, uh, the sons of the fallen angels, the mighty men of old who were men of renown. All of this is going to happen again, and it's happening right before your very eyes. The book of Revelation, the book of Daniel, the prophecies contained therein are coming to pass before your very eyes. Do not be deceived. I'm going to, next to me here, I am showing you links to certain videos that present to you truths that you need to know. If you are studying this whole New World Order stuff and the fulfillment of a world, world religion, New Age agenda, the coming Antichrist, false blue beam rapture, alien deception, invasion, everything, please watch these videos. Teaching on the genuine rapture, who's going to be on that rapture, biblically speaking, who's not going to be. Teaching about the false blue beam rapture, or the alien deception, these videos are all valuable to tell you what is going to come and how to prepare to be ready. You need to listen to, um, you know, there are not many. And as a matter of fact, <laughs> Prophet Elizabeth Elijah, you know, who is in the office of a prophet, is like, I, I, I have never met any woman like her, okay? And I'm not saying she's the only prophet, okay? I'm not saying that. But Elizabeth Elijah is to me, when I read these prophecies, okay, I clearly discern the God of the Holy Bible in those prophecies. And there's nobody and nothing that can convince me otherwise. Okay, and you have to listen to the true prophets and the messengers of God because they're out there, but they're far and wide in between. Okay, the, listen to the eyes of the body of Yahushua. Do not reject the eyes. Uh, study the prophecies that are found at themightywind.com, spoken through Prophet Elizabeth Elijah. Study and show yourself approved. And um, so prepare yourself. Please watch the videos that I'm displaying here. And do not go into the wrong places to get your information, to prepare and to get ready and what is coming. You need to be found in a loving, obedient relationship with Christ repenting of all your sins, turning away from your sins, and seeking for counsel and wisdom from His Holy Spirit, Gu being guided by the Holy Spirit. Do not walk after these false prophets. Do not walk after the majority of this Christian community, because satanic infiltrators and government agents 
And perhaps fallen angels are embedded within this community to program and to deceive you into a new age belief system and you never even saw it. Much of this stuff going on here on YouTube is unbiblical garbage. So this is a warning right now. This is not to defame this man or to care to assassinate him, but this man is setting you up for the false blue beam rapture, the introducing of the son of Satan, who is the Antichrist, the son or perdition, spoken of in the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. You had better get ready. Like I said, keep reading the book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 17 in particular. I had a dream about this in the great tribulation in which I myself was in my dream protected by God but I was helping people and I was leading people to safety and to Christ and they didn't know how to get to Yeshua and I showed them one verse and that was Revelation chapter 12 verse 17 to show them that they have to obey God's commandments and have the testimony of Yahushua HaMashiach. This is what we should be preaching. This is what the two witnesses of the Great Tribulation are going to preach, who will be looked at as terrorists, especially by the lukewarm Christians here in the Christian community, who are afraid to rebuke or offend anybody because we lead them away from Christ. We need to show them love. We need to forgive everybody, tolerate everybody. We need to befriend atheists. Don't, don't reject any friend in fact, you need to uh, be, befriend them instead of rebuke them. What are you going to do with the two witnesses in the Great Tribulation? The Bible says that fire will proceed out of their mouth and that anybody that opposes or wants to hurt them must be consumed with fire. What are you going to do if you have this lukewarm, nappy pabby uh, gospel that you're following right now? Okay, you had better get ready. You had better obey Yahushua and forsake your sins, whatever it may be. Whatever it may be, whether it's backbiting, slandering, lying, bearing false witness, coveting, adultery, fornication, lust, perversion, homosexuality, pornography, whatever it may be, drunkenness, um, the cares and the riches of this world that choke the world in you, pride, arrogance, idolatry, taking God's name in vain, cursing on purpose, uh, breaking the Sabbath day, you had better repent of all this stuff, okay, and get your sins covered with the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach. And, well, this is basically all I want to say right now, because I don't want to make this video too long. But, the main purpose of this video is to tell you, please, do not watch this video, and especially do not listen to the audio because you're opening yourself up to demons, yea, you're opening yourself up to alien powers to program your mind. So this is it, over and out. This was Yah Servant 777 of a Mighty Wind Ministry. Take care.